from a windy Milneton. We're speaking to Dean Kanema regarding his runners on Monday. And uh, thankfully, Rosh Kadesh is a nice one, but we'll get to him later. Dean, in race one, you've got uh, Cosmic Energy. You've got Josh aboard. Uh, give me the green light first timer. Yeah, lovely, well balanced filly, well related, a full uh, sister to a horse called Cosmic Highway. And a uh, nice filly. Sort of over a thousand. I think she's got enough speed to run a nice type of race. Could be more comfortable over 1,200 meters. And, uh, but she's doing well. Uh, Keegan can't ride it because, uh, you know, he's uh, contracted to Kaya Stable, so he's got to ride one for Bass's Yard, otherwise he would have been riding her. But a lovely filly. Her race will do her good. But I wouldn't leave out the exotics. Race five, Lion's Head. He's uh, gained uh, great consistency. Always there, knocking on the door, knocking on the door. You know, I ran him in a 14 the other day, but 16 is, is uh, you know, I once went a race with him in Durban. I think it was over 1,800 metres or 1,900 metres. Every time you watch him run, you'll say, this horse wants more ground. Nevertheless, running him over 1,800 metres, you can't leave him out. Race six, the two runners. First, them grow, green grow the lilacs with the corner offer aboard, and she comes from KZN. Yeah, she was, uh, she campaigned there. She went to Johannesburg also, tried the oaks. And, and uh, then brought her back for the Durban season last year. Uh, she had game consistent form, ran a very good race in the Oaks. And uh, she at one stage had a problem uh, with a joint, uh, we had a bit of a setback. Nevertheless, brought her back in training and she's sound. And we've decided to bring her back from Durban campaign year during the winter season with her. Uh, especially over races uh, or races over ground. That's what we're looking for. I mean, a mother won the Oaks and she's looking for ground. So hopefully during the winter season, we've got some nice staying races. And I think we'll probably see the best of her now as a more matured filly. But I'll start off for a Marpo a little sharp, but it's a long running. We'll be doing our best work at the finish. Symphony of Lutch, having a third run for the yard. Two very good runs up the stretch. You know, she had a wind up uh, and the wind sounds very, well, uh, sounds very good. Uh, first run was, was a very good run. The second run, I think Grand Poor Rider, she was, she was just about flat-footed when they started to quicken, but she finished it off nicely. And uh, I'm going to run over a mile, which she's looking for. She's about trippy, but out of a Galileo mare. She should go a mile quite comfortably. Big, big strapping filly, deep girth filly, doing well, and, and this is what she's been looking for. Race seven, Rosh Kadesh, uh, quite an impressive win last time. What are you expecting from him? Well, a nice type of horse. Uh, you know, I fancied him first time over 1,200, and horses get beat, but obviously he's bred to go a mile, 1,600 metres, and uh, he ran, he, and I put him in the 14, and duly won well. One horse ran up to him on the inside of him, and uh, but he actually drew away at the finish. So in his second run, quite a big leap from one run straight away into a 14, you know. You know, if you run a horse, you think he's going to go a mile, you don't jump into a 14, but I don't know what overcame, overcame me, but I, I ran him over 1,400 metres, and... Uh, Always a bit more difficult, uh, first run out of the maidens, you know, but he has also lots of scope uh, and, uh, you know, he's, he's doing well. He took his last run well. He had, also, uh, had a force break uh, during the Durban season and uh, he's grown tremendously, grown to be a lovely horse. So I think the mile should be more comfortable for him. Maybe a little tricky first time, uh, but I think he's, he's heading the right way. Thank you very much. All the best. Thank you very much, Ricky. That's uh, Dean Canemo taking us through his runners for Monday and uh, lovely sorts to keep an eye on them.